Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're in Adobe Photoshop CC and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the clone stamp tool. So there are multiple things that you can do with the clone stamp tool that'll help you out uh, in your day-to-day -day workflow with Photoshop or you just may want to know what the tool does. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So I have two different scenarios here, two different uh, projects that I would be working on and I'm going to show you the way that I would use the clone stamp tool. So the first one I'm going to show you is with this one here. So here is a beautiful landscape uh, here picture and this is how it began right here with this nice little shack there uh, in the grass. But let's just say you don't want that image or that building to be there in the grass and you don't want to go through of matching the colors and painting over it or extracting it or whatever else. Using the clone stamp tool can actually do this for you very easily. So let's go ahead and go over to uh, our tool Toolbar. So if you pull the toolbar over here, the clone stamp tool looks just like a stamp, you know, in real life. And then it might be underneath the pattern stamp tool. So click and hold there and then select the clone stamp tool. Now, first things first, make sure you have unlocked all of your layers. So if you have a background or image layer, make sure you double click on that and then click OK to unlock that layer. And now once we've done that, you're going to see this little circle image, your paintbrush, like a normal paintbrush come available to you. So here are, is how you operate the clone stamp tool. If you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then click with the right mouse button, you're going to be able to adjust the size of that brush, just like you would if you were using a normal paintbrush. Uh, go ahead and click away from that now. Now, in order to capture the the stamp that you want to use to paint over the image that you want to get rid of, you're going to need to you know hold down on the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on a Windows, and then left click where you want to use that color. So I'm going to left click here in the green area where the grass is, and then once I've done that, I'm going to paint over my image that I want to remove. So again, you're going to have to play with this because it's going to clone kind of the area near where the brush is painting. So you're going to have to paint over it maybe a few more times than, uh, than you would think you would need to, but in order to remove all of that color. So all I'm doing now is I went ahead and captured my color. I went ahead and cloned the area around it, and I'm just painting over by clicking and holding with my left mouse button the area that I want to remove. So now it's actually cloning the areas around where my brush is painting, and I'm removing all of that area where that little shack or that little house was. So it's actually cloning the the uh, the shadows here of the trees. Uh, so that's actually a really cool feature of this clone stamp tool. So play around with that. You're able to remove certain areas uh, and certain aspects of an image really easily. And you, you cannot tell that, that I have removed that. It's actually taken the grass. Now, as you can see here, the grass does look, if you look really closely, you can see the grass is growing in a different direction. But if you just look at the picture quickly, you, you'll never know and that's going to be a very easy way to remove something from an image and again you'll just hold down that alt key uh, or command key on a Mac and then click with your left mouse button where you want to capture that color and it will absolutely clone that pattern or color uh, and will allow you to paint with that clone that you've made uh, so let's go ahead and move, move over to our second project so here I have a nice beautiful landscape like I had in the other project, but I actually have imported a dog that I have removed the background of, and he had a green background. I did that on purpose so you could see it, and then I've left a little bit of it here on his tail as you can see, and then some down here uh, by his paws. You can see some of the green area there. Now, normally you could do a lot of extracting, but I'm going to show you how to use the clone stamp tool to make it look like the image or background image and to make it look a little more natural and fluid when you're importing importing images onto other backgrounds. So this is actually really neat. So to see what I'm going to do here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure all my layers are unlocked and they are. If they aren't, go ahead and go over to the layers panel and do that now. And then once we've done that, go ahead and grab our clone stamp tool. Again, it just looks like a stamp. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this because this is something very important. Now I have this image here and then my background image are on two separate layers. So let me explain something to you. This will frustrate you if you don't know what, what's going on because it won't let, allow you to do some things. So I want to capture a color or pattern or clone something 
on the background image where these clouds are to get rid of this green area on his tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that background layer in my layers panel and then go over here. And as you see, it's going to allow me to get that. Now, if I went over to the, the layer that has the dog on it, and then I try to capture it or the text layer that I have here, you'll see there that little circle with a line through it. That means I cannot capture that. I'm not going to be able to do anything there. So go ahead and go to the background layer and then click the alt or option key on a Mac. And then I'm going to grab that pattern there where the clouds are. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my layer with the dog on it, select it. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to color over that green area. So again, I'm, my brush is a little too big. So what I'll need to do is here is hold down Alt, right click, and then adjust the size of my brush. So again, hold down Alt or Option and then right click to adjust that size. Now I can go in and I can really fine tune this area where his tail is and I can remove some of that green area there and I can really make it look like very natural because I'm able to go in here and I'm able to clone the colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and clone this color once again where the clouds are and I'm gonna go on through here and I'm gonna color on in and you can actually see it can even clone some of the dog's hair or the head or whatever it is. And again, play around with this, uh, you know, undo it if it doesn't fit your, uh, the, what you wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and go and capture some more of those clouds here one more time, select my layer of the dog there and then go on in here and color over his head where that green area is a little bit there and then just like that you can see how much more natural that's looking because I'm going in so I can even go down here and select some of this grass area and then go back and select the dog layer and come back and I can really really fine-tune it with a small brush and it is as if that dog was running on that grass all along. So anyways, guys, that is a fun and easy way to explain the clone stamp tool. I really hope you got something out of this tutorial. It's a fantastic tool to play with. Go ahead and check it out. Please, please, please thumbs up, like this video. It does help me out. Subscribe to my channel for more great content just like this. Technology reviews, news, gaming videos and news, anything like that. If that is something that you're interested in, subscribe to the Tech Guru channel and I will see you guys next time.